Hey, hi everyone. Um, my name is Mary Ann McKay. I'm here at Pioneer Park in Fremantle. Up until last Saturday, there were there was a homeless camp here. Um, the McGowan government rushed in um, as a political stunt due to the upcoming election and basically removed all the homeless people in an out of sight, out of mind action. They were offered accommodation um, for one week. This does nothing to um, provide any solutions um, in any way to the actual housing crisis that we have going on in WA um, and the issue of homelessness. The state government needs to immediately provide crisis accommodation for everyone who's currently sleeping rough. But that's not enough. We've actually got to go to the heart of the problem and that's the housing affordability crisis in this country. Too often the politicians, Labor and Liberal, try to pretend that you can treat rough sleeping homelessness separate from the general housing affordability crisis. That's completely ridiculous. The lack of affordable housing in this country is creating a pipeline of potential new homeless people every day of the week. And we need to face some facts. In Australia, we have the weakest protections in the OECD for private tenants, and we also have the smallest stock of public housing. In Australia, public housing has shrunk down to a tiny 4%. In addition to this dysfunctional and highly unfair housing market that we have in Australia, we're also faced with the impending windback of job seeker and job keeper. And this threatens to throw hundreds of thousands of more people into housing insecurity. This is simply unacceptable and it's time to take action. In a rich state like WA, the issue of homelessness and the lack of affordable housing should not be an issue. And that's why we're running in the upcoming March state election to put some real solutions on the table for Western Australia. We're here at the Davis Park precinct in Fremantle where the state government has begun the process of demolishing over 200 public housing dwellings. Now the stated objective of the state government is to replace old housing stock like this one with new mixed developments but they just haven't been keeping up and in actual fact more houses are being demolished or boarded up than are being replaced across Western Australia. In the last three years, we've seen the total number of public housing dwellings decline by about 1,300 or 4%. Socialist Alliance are committed to providing real solutions to the housing affordability crisis. So we are making a commitment to fight for 30,000 public housing dwellings over the next four years. And we're committed to fighting for the rights of private tenants as well. And that means pegging all rent increases to CPI, getting rid of no-fault evictions, and offering people who default on their mortgage the possibility to be bought out by the Department of Housing and for their housing stock to be incorporated into public housing and giving security of, of residence to that person. Guaranteed access to all citizens of affordable, dignified, long-term housing is a basic obligation of government. Just like public health care and public education, we need to remember that housing is a human right.